Hey folks, I'm here at 100 Market Street with Joel Ferris and Crowley. Sean Crowley. Sean Crowley. Uh, it's OCD Mental Health Awareness Week, and we're going to talk a little bit about mental health and art. Starting off with you, Sean. Um, I took pictures of your artwork. Really nice. Um, where does that come from? Uh, I just try to find pictures of something I can actually kind of draw and then paint. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm a little better at painting than I yeah. am at drawing. Um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, it does, does, because I've done that myself. But um, some of it is just looking at it is kind of more in the way of expressionist. Yeah, well, I, I, I kind of, you know, when I got older, I kind of need something to fill a void. You know, I, I, about four and a half years ago, I got kicked in a car accident about this ability. Yeah. I hit by a tractor trailer. Ooh. And so, uh, yeah, I needed something to do. And uh, I couldn't do a lot of things that I was used to doing anymore. Uh, I always wanted to, I used to draw a little bit when I was younger, but then you know, I kind of phased out. And, you know, and then I went to college for a little bit and I started like, I took an organic chemistry class and I started drawing structures every day. Right. So that kind of got me back in. The first thing I ever did was a, was a, some structures, mm -hmm. uh, like just chemical reactions. And then I was yeah. like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I can put this, maybe I can do this. And then maybe then I got my confidence more and I had a, started with a, with like a few acrylics and I was like, I want to do oils because I love Van Gogh. And I was, yeah. Since I was a kid, and I was like, that's what I want to do with oil. And a lot of people are scared of oils, but it's really no different. You know? It's yeah. actually easy to do my, my personally. Yeah. And uh, Joe, you are a well-known um, caricature artist around here. Uh, besides being a known musician, some would call you a traveling minstrel. Um, what is it that inspires you to do that type of stuff? Uh, a lot of things, I would say. Um, you know, I was, I was drawing from a really young age, um, so you know, I, I definitely built up the habit. Also, it's, it's a great outlet for me. I mean, when, I'm, when I get hired to do a caricature event, where I go to a wedding or a party or whatever, to do characters, it's awesome because I get to socialize and, and I socialize and do my art at the same time and that's a really rewarding experience and uh, and kind of it helps my mental state to get out yeah. and to do my art with people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this, the whole art and music and entertainment has always played big within uh, the whole realm of mental illness and mental health. And, um, uh, we can, wait, what's up? So I don't want to interrupt. That's okay. Oh, I was just going to say, real for So okay. I'm sorry. That's okay, we'll keep that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, seriously. Thank you for helping out. You've helped. Yeah, don't do it. Don't steal. But as I say, uh, when it comes to mental health and different disorders, um, within the entertainment, art, and music industry, that is going to make play a significant role to those that have suffered from these types of ailments. Um, a good example is who we lost a few years ago, Robin Williams. Um, we can all identify with him when it comes to mental health. Yeah. Um, so, but um, I played original songs when you're doing your, when both of you are doing your artwork, so now, I think it's to do the what type of relief does that give you? Um, for me, I keep, okay. keep going. Okay. Right for me, uh, I, I'm not like Joe. He likes like 
do like weddings and stuff yeah. like that. I'm a private person. I don't like to do my art around any, anybody. Yeah. I, I like to be alone in a room. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much I've done most of my paintings in one apartment that I've ever lived in. Yeah. And uh, that I've lived in the last few years. And uh, I, if anybody, anything I do, if I do any art around my girlfriend, that's it. And yeah. it's a very private thing for me. I, I'm not really like out doing art in public like he does. Care. Yeah. yeah. It's just something I, it's a private thing. It's yeah. like me playing music. I play a lot of music, but I, I do. I I don't have the talent to retain the lyrics off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. But I can look at a Beatles book. I own two Beatles books, and I can play a lot of the songs in there and yeah. sing them. Yeah. But I I can't go and play these people now. Yeah. Have yeah a like stuff Sean Reed does. Yeah. 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 And I and I wish I had that, but I don't. Otherwise, I'd be playing up there right now. <laughs> yeah. But um, the dude show. Um, how does your artwork and your music play into your whole mental state? Uh, how does my artwork and music? It's, it's, an out, it's definitely an outlet. It's a, an expression of sometimes inner turmoil. You know, it can be a, a positive expression. A, right. Expression like if I'm feeling good, some of that can come out. If I'm feeling bad, I can get a relief from making art um, or making music. Um, yeah, it's definitely definitely a mental health um, mental health expression. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's better than art. Definitely better than well, I think so. I yeah. think so. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I think that in with mental illness in general, I think that we can choose positive outlets. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes they're harder to achieve. Like we got to dig a little deep, not to. I guess take the simplest method, which might be tons of alcohol, yeah. you know, alcohol right. or, right. you know, it takes discipline not to go to those, but to choose maybe art, choose music, mm -hmm. choose productivity. Like you could, I mean, I, I work, I work quite a bit. Yeah. I know that that's an outlet for my mental health, mm -hmm. my mental illness. Um, but, but I think that we can turn it into positive. We all have this energy inside ourselves and we can choose to be positive and we can use discipline to make positive impacts from what we experience. Mm -hmm. True, true. And being somebody who also suffers from mental health issues, doing what I'm doing right now in itself is an outlet. So, Thank you for your time. Thank you. And keep up the work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.